China has issued a stark warning to Hong Kong protesters not to underestimate the immense strength of the central government and not to mistake China's restraint as weakness. The Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office in Beijing says the protests have damaged the city's prosperity and stability and has thrown its unequivocal support behind Hong Kong Chief Executive Kerry Lam's government and police. The central government says that anti-China forces are behind the movement providing guidance and funding. Beijing is calling on Hong Kong people to protect the homeland. These are China's strongest comments on Hong Kong since protests began two months ago. They come a day after a general strike plunged the city into chaos. Rallies in dozens of districts turned into battlegrounds between protesters and police. Now, for more from Beijing, correspondent Olivia Xiong joins us. Um, so, Olivia, you know, Beijing says anti-China and foreign forces are influencing the protests. Do we have any idea who they are referring to? Well, according to the Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office spokesperson, he is pointing to Taiwan and Western politicians, and he says that they have made irresponsible remarks and confounded right from wrong. And when asked for evidence of this, he cited several examples. He said one only needed to look to public reports. Now, one example of this that he cited was of a report published by the U.S. State Department in March, which said that the degree of autonomy that Hong Kong enjoyed has diminished. Now, a second example that he gave were the comments of Western politicians, primarily uh, U.K.'s Jeremy Hunt and U.S. Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. And he cited how she had said that the demonstrations in Hong Kong were a beautiful sight to behold. Um, a third example that he gave was of the meeting between the leaders of Hong Kong opposition with uh, U.S. leaders. Um, here we're presuming that he's talking about the meetings that the Hong Kong uh, opposition had with U.S. Vice President Mike Pence as well as Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Uh, and so these, he said, these actions, he said, had emboldened the protesters that we are seeing in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is China's 我们奉献那些说着漂亮话，实质上却干着播撒社会仇恨和对立种子的政客们，自重一点，也清醒一点，你们的伎俩不可能得逞。还是我刚才说的那句话，香港的前途和命运是掌握在包括香港同胞在内
Kong unrest has been tightly controlled here on the mainland, but in recent weeks, the focus has been on the violent actions of protesters. And here we're talking about the defacing of the national emblem at the Beijing Liaison Office, as well as most recently, we saw the national flag um, being thrown into the harbor. And so uh, state media editorials have, point, uh, have painted this as a challenge to the central government, as well as to the one country, two systems framework. And so on social media as well, videos that have been circulating have been of protesters uh, causing chaos and disrupting traffic, as well as uh, what they say is bullying of uh, certain passers-by. And uh, the other focus also has, of course, been on the pro-government and uh, pro-police rallies that we've seen in Hong Kong as well. And so Overall, speaking to people here, uh, most people do say that they are against the violence of these protesters, although some do recognize that uh, the young people in Hong Kong have certain concerns about the economy, employment and housing, but they say that violence should not be a route that they take. Although some people also are saying that they hope that this media here on the mainland can be more open so that they have a better understanding of the situation in Hong Kong. All right, many thanks for that. Livia Xiong speaking to us from Beijing.